this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to cut plasterboard. The tools you're going to need for this job are a saw, and don't use your best wood saw because cutting plasterboard will blunt the blades. So try and keep to the same saw every time you use plasterboard, and you'll be fine. You need a measuring tape, you want a pencil, and a Stanley knife. And ideally you want something like this, a straight edge or maybe a spirit level, something with a nice straight edge which you're able to do long straight lines on. If you were doing a straight line, this would be simple. You'd take your straight edge, be it your saw, I'll try and put it this way for the video, or your straight edge, and if this was your line here, draw your line and mark it out, okay, with your pencil. Put this against the line you've drawn, like so. Be very careful and score along, like this, with the blade of your knife. Now you always draw and cut on the paper finish, and that is the side that's going to be plastered on. Not on the back, which is usually a darker brown paper. Now if you put your hand behind this piece of plasterboard, like that, Nice and secure, give it a tap and it'll crack just like that. I'll try and show you to the camera. As you can see there, you've got a nice cut piece. Get our knife like that, we put it on the crease underneath, pull it towards you, being very careful, and there's your cut piece of plasterboard. Now that works fine if you're doing one edge. Obviously, if you're doing two edges and you cut down there, and you need a cut there. You obviously, if you do one cut, you can't tilt it back when the other side is still joined. So, this is where I use a knife and a saw. And we start with the saw. So I'll measure down there. Put a little line. Then you want to come out 15 centimeters as well. If this was a long piece of plasterboard. I'd use my straight edge, the long straight edge I just showed you at the start of the video. But for a small piece, you can use the back of the saw. When using one of these saws to cut plasterboard, it's ideal because you've got two angles on the saw. You've got that there, which gives you a 90 degree, and you've got that that gives you a 45 degree. So for example, if you want a 90 degree line off something you know is already a square edge, you put that onto there, and that gives you a 90 degree. If you wanted a 45 degree, you put it that way, and there's your 45 degree. Now, I don't have much room to play with here, so I look like a bit of an amateur. Some people might say I am. Now I've got a nice cut edge there, okay? So next thing is, put our straight edge across the bottom piece, taking your knife, score right across using your blade, just like last time, and then same again, just break that back, and there you've got a nice flap held together by the piece of paper. Take your knife into there, cut back towards you, being very careful because the knife is sharp, and there you have it. There's your piece of plasterboard. If you watch my other videos, there is one to show you how to fix this plasterboard to the wall prior to plastering. I hope this video has been useful and gives you the confidence and the know-how to cut your plasterboard in future. For more DIY tips, tricks, how-to and review, please watch my other videos and please subscribe to my channel. I've been Pouse Around the House. See you next time.